225 miles north of New York City, is the idyllic community of Essex Junction, Vermont, a suburb of Burlington. By all appearances, this is as safe a place as any for raising children. John Halligan, an IBM employee, knows firsthand how misleading appearances can be. On October 7, 2003, a horrifying turn of events reshaped how John and his wife Kelly defined safety and transformed their lives forever. My alarm clock was about a minute to go off, and that's when I started hearing the screams of my daughter, Megan. Uh, my husband was on a business trip. John was in his hotel room when his distraught wife called. And uh, I was never, ever prepared for what I heard the, on the other end when I, when I picked it up. I said, you have to come home now. I was crying hysterical. You have to come home. He's like, why? And I'm like, Ryan hanged himself, and he's dead. And then he kept saying it over, and he's dead, Ryan's dead, Ryan. And I said, yes, yes, come home, come home. Ryan Patrick Halligan was just 13 years old. You know, a bright, beautiful, lovable, kind, sweet kid just doesn't wake up one day and say, I'm going to kill myself. I had to figure out what was going on. What, had, what happened to this kid? John started to explore his son's internet account, in particular, his instant messaging files. It slowly became apparent that Ryan was being bullied at school and online. He was living a double life. During the day, he appeared to be an amiable, happy-go-lucky kid. But at night, in the privacy of his room, he was a tormented child, roaming the dark and insidious back roads of cyberspace. He was in so much pain, and, and he couldn't come to the two people who loved him most in the world. There was no sanctuary for Ryan, not even at home. The internet served as a huge public forum to humiliate him, what is commonly referred to as cyberbullying. I felt compelled to um, send an email to my CEO, Sam Pomisano at IBM, and um, express to him our, what had happened to our family and that there was this computer connection. There had to be something that we can do uh, as IBMers Sam quickly assembled a task force through on-demand community to address internet safety for children. John suggested iSafe America as a partner. iSafe is a national organization headquartered in Carlsbad, California, dedicated to safe and responsible use of the internet by children K through 12. 